This is going to be an easy and quick way to do ridge capping for your roof in Revit. So I've gotten my model up to a stage where I need to get in a little bit more detail into my 2D drawings, especially the roof plan here, there's really not much going on. And although it's a very basic design, I'd like to add in some roof capping, which is this ridge capping, these three lines as you can see running across, and this acts as a sealant or a flashing over your roof uh, ridge line, and hence why it's called a capping. There's no actual tool for ridge capping in Revit, so this is how you're going to do it. The first thing you wanna do is select that roof, go into any kind of elevation view. So I'm just going to go to a north elevation. I'm gonna type CO to copy this. I'm gonna click from any point and I'm just gonna make a copy that's up in the air and it doesn't really matter where it is. Now what I'm going to do is head into a 3D view and here's that roof that we've just copied up. Now all I'm going to do is go to the architecture tab and hit on vertical opening. I'm just going to select that roof that we've created, the duplicate roof, not the actual roof. I'm going to now use the pick lines tool. And what we're doing is creating a roof opening cut. Use the pick line tool with the offset as 100. And this is going to specify how far off of that ridge that we're going to create the cap. So I want it to be 100 mils off this side and 100 mils off the other side. So I'm using the pick lines tool with an offset of 100 and I'm going to select both sides of that ridge. And you can see there the pick line tools there. You could also do this in a roof plan or a site plan or something to make it a bit easier. Once you've selected both sides of all of your ridges, and this might take a little bit longer depending on the complexity of your roof, I'm going to change the offset down to zero. And I'm just going to select the boundary of the roof. So this is just the outside lines of that roof. And with that done, I'm now going to hit SL and I'm going to use that split tool. Otherwise you can find it up here as well, split element, which is SL. I'm just gonna split all of these joins. And for me, there's only two of them. So I'm just going to select both of them. I'm going to delete those inside lines. So now you've got everything selected apart from that ridge. And I'm just going to hit that finish edit mode button. And you're going to see there's now a ridge cap thing of that roof. Now at the moment, this is way too thick. So what I'm going to do is change that. If we select it once, you're going to see that it's not giving us any options to change this roof because you've just selected the opening cut. But if we hit tab over that and we select it, now you've got an actual roof, which is what we want. And I'm just going to select this and you can change this to a thinner roof type and you can make this steel or something, but I've already got one here called 50 millimeter capping. There we go. Now I'm going to go over to a Elevation view, it doesn't really matter what one you are as long as you can see it, which I can't at the moment. So I'm just gonna make this to the level one roof. And now I can see that ridge capping there. I'm just going to use the move tool by typing MV. I'm just going to bring this down in line with the top of that ridge. And now if we go to our 3D view, you're going to see that this now has a ridge capping over it. That's how easy it is. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>